up everybody and welcome back to my channel so thank you so much for clicking I'm truly grateful and uh, if you're new to this channel do me a favor click the subscribe button to support this channel so guys as usual today I found another interesting Honda motorcycle and I'm here to show it to you so let's go take a look so the bike I'm talking about is a Honda CRF 190L and it's Sandero Honda so Sandero Honda makes Honda motorcycles below 500 cc so all the 400 cc and below at least in China um, the company that makes them is called Sandero Honda and this is a beat down version of you could say the CB 500X and 400X and it has looks of the Africa twin as well because it's just 190 cc's so let me start from here uh, the cockpit area so you have your windshield which also has this cut in the windshield just like all its older siblings and you have some rounded mirrors and let's take a look at what's going on in the controls so it looks really really narrow and just taking a look at the cockpit area you have non-adjustable front suspension and on the right side you have your kill switch and you have your light switch and you have your ignition you have the light switch and you have the ignition right there the okay, accelerator this one kind of this grip kind of looks like the one that comes with the Africa twin for some weird reason it doesn't look like the one that comes with the CB uh, 4 and 500 and moving on to the left side you have the high beam and low beam your turn signal switch and your horn and it's got the hazard light switch as well uh, if you watch my video on the CB500X, that's one thing that really annoys me that the versions you have coming into China, they have no hazard light switch, but the lower versions of Honda bikes have it. So that's something that really bothers my mind. But let's move on with the review. And if you look at the screen, yeah, for this size of bike, you would say it's a it's a good size. So let me just turn on the ignition so we can see. As usual just like all the other ones it's got the blue um, background and you get all the basic information you need so I'm guessing this is how much distance the bike has traveled you get time you got your speedometer right there odometer you get your gear indicator and RPMs indicator right there fuel information so uh, that's about it but one interesting thing that I want to show you is can you see those guys it's illuminated so the symbols for the controls are illuminated once the ignition is turned on take a look at it again do you see it go on and off yeah so that gives you the really nice touch and I'm guessing it'll be a lot useful especially at night and this is what I'm expecting newer versions of the CB500X to have because that bike's controls look a bit too basic so if this lower version of the bike can have control indicators background lights then I think the bigger version should have it as well it is a really nice touch and if you look down here you can see the horn is illuminated and you can see your past light indicator here as well so let's quickly take a look at the lights on this on this bike so as you can see it's got daytime running lights and I don't have anyone here to help me but I'm guessing to split into two one will be the low beam and the other the high beam but you've got daytime running lights and you've got your indicators they kind of look like they are not exactly like the that on the CB500X but it's kind of a similar design and if we take a look at the tail light very simple design and you've got the reflector here 
and your light for the number plate and you've got your tire right there so overall it looks like a really really nice setup I am liking these illuminated lights I think it's a really really nice touch for uh, a smaller bike like this and I can guess people who are going to choose this bike are people who don't have the budget for a bigger bike but want some adventure feel and also want a bike that will be a bit more comfortable uh, so I'm get, I guess that's who this bike is targeted at obviously not everyone has a big budget and as you can see it comes with spoked wheels but I'm not guess I'm guessing this is still with a tube because the wheels go right in the middle and you can see that it's not sealed just like old tie bikes and the rear uses drum brakes and you've got your rear tire chain adjuster bolts just like the old CBs I haven't seen a bike with drum brakes in a long time so uh, this is kind of cool and of course it's not a very big CC bike so it doesn't need that much stopping power so drum brakes should be sufficient I'm sure that was a thinking around it and you've got an exhaust tucked in really nicely and it's got an exhaust cover which is plastic and it looks like it's meant for two because you've got your rear foot pegs right here and it's a Honda so fix really feels really tactile you've got seat in for one passenger and rider and you've got your brake set up right there and just like old bike guys easy to service you can see your spark plug right there and let's take a look at the fuel tank so it's a really small tank um, I'm not seeing anything here that indicates the amount of liters but uh, it's a really small tank it must be like two or three gallons I'm guessing about two gallons maybe and just take a look at this old style engine type yeah and looking at the engine setup it looks like it is uh, an air-cooled engine not a liquid cool because I don't see any radiator anywhere and because of how the engine has been built with these fins it just makes it obvious that it, it is a an air-cooled engine and the frame is exposed just like it's a very basic bike but the suspension looks like it, it will travel longer while you're on the road it has a really long suspension and I'm, I'm guessing the travel I don't have the figures but the travel of the suspension will be longer and then again we have a basic sort of rim old style sort of vintage rim installed on this bike got a really huge and long mud guard so on the CB500X and other bikes the mud guard stops right about here but this one goes all the way down I'm guessing because the bike is small and narrow um, they made it this way so that you don't have too much water and dust um, reaching your legs your shoes whilst you're riding and it's it looks like it's got this really whole beefy setup for the mud guard and it's made of very good plastic the plastic feels good got these adventure style tires and if I just take a look at the tire size it's like 90 90 rim 19 so it's a 19 inch wheel but it's 90 90 and on the other side you've got this brakes obviously because you can have um, drum brakes on both wheels you need more stopping power especially in, in, in emergencies so a disc brake does better at that so you have that set up and you have your cables running up and you've got a bit of um, camouflage sort of thing going on here um, these decals 
I think it's kind of part of the Honda design language. It goes on almost all their bikes. Uh, it makes it look really cool, especially the CRF and the CB range all have these decals. And of course, as usual, you always have Honda. And just moving on to the back, you have this installed um, rack, which I believe comes straight from the factory with the bike. And there's some Chinese here which I can't read, but I'm guessing it says five kilograms maximum, like they always do. And you get your chain set up right here. And there's something very interesting here. So this plastic bit here, I'm guessing helps to keep the chain. Helps to protect the chain and to also avoid um, accidents to the rider or any anyone who is standing by because it looks like it's really exposed down there I'm not a hundred percent sure why that plastic bit is there and it doesn't look like it's touching the chain so I'm guessing it's a safety thing and you get your stand set up right here you got your gear in and um, I'm guessing it's six gears on this bike but I can't confirm that so let's just take a walk around the bike and it looks really cool Yeah, it looks like a really, really nice bike. Oh, and there's something here. Another thing that bigger CCs are missing, like my 2019 CB500X, it doesn't have any guard, so you have all the dirt and mud getting to the, the rear suspension. So this is a nice touch to have this plastic bit here to stop all the debris from reaching the suspension, keep it clean, keep it working for longer. So that's basically all there is to this bike and I must say what wins it for me on this bike is the uh, the lighting that you have in the background for the controls. I think that Honda should integrate this in their CB500 range, CB500 and 400 range because I think it's a really nice touch. Um, I only once saw it on a KTM bike and now it is on smaller Honda bike so it's a really nice touch let me just show it to you again so if you take a closer look you will see illuminate and I think it's a really really nice touch I like it got ABS as well I'm guessing for the front neutral um, running lights so overall, it's a really, really sensible choice for the budget, extreme budget adventure rider. Of course, you're not going to go across countries with this bike. Just by looking at the fuel tank, it's so tiny, it kind of looks like you're strapping on a one gallon of, uh, of, of gas onto the bike. So you're going to be refilling. But being a Honda, well, they, they are fond of pulling surprises. You might be surprised how long this bike can travel before you need to refill. And there again, it's a 190cc, so it shouldn't consume too much. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to show you the new CRF 190L that I saw in a showroom here in Shanghai. So once again, if you're new to this channel, do me a favor, help this channel grow click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so when I upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified. Thank you so much for watching again until I see you in the next video. Right there you go, right safe. Peace always.